Hi, this is Maggie. I'm looking at the chart of Oprah Winfrey. She's the Aquarian of the month I chose. I've been wanting to do her chart for some time. Um, yeah, so Oprah is a beautiful air trine. She's like queen of the airwaves for sure. But, uh, she was born with Venus rising. So she's sun in Aquarius. She has a stellium in Aquarius. She has three planets in Aquarius. So I just had to throw that out there. Um, her ascendant is Sagittarius and her moon is Sagittarius as well. Her moon is in the 12th house of Pisces. So um, higher education is all important to her. She did earn her degree. Uh, she started a school for girls in Africa. Um, so higher education has always been very, very important to her. Her book club. Um, she has Capricorn. The North Node, her no North Node is in Capricorn, right, on her ascendant. Um, first house Capricorn. So she was born to achieve and, and make her mark through her personality somehow. And she she has done that. I mean, she has worked in every capacity, especially as a newscaster. I believe that's how she got her beginning. You know, she had her own show. Everyone knows her story, you know. She ended up winning all the kinds of awards, uh, Emmys and um, yeah, so I wanted to jump. Higher education is all important to Sagittarians. The 12th house is the house of the unconscious and the house of secrets. And she has been very public about her, her sexual abuse at a very young age. Um, and, you know, shared it on air with a lot of people. So basically she kind of like did her therapy on air um, and helped enormous an enormous amount of people through that by sharing her own experience with with it um, she does have Saturn in, in Scorpio and Mars as well in Scorpio so those would be the malefics that um, and they're squaring her son her son is herself her body so she was violated at very very young age and you know, had to endure that for some time, and um, yeah, so that that shows Mars and Saturn in Scorpio. It's in her tenth and eleventh house, Scorpio, squaring her Sun, Venus, and um, her her Mercury as well as in Aquarius. So. So she she was violated and she spoke about it. That that was her one of her, you know her greatest greatest life challenge. Um, but because she has Venus, the Sun, and Mercury, she she did communicate about it um, publicly, and her beautiful Aquarius Sun is in trine with Jupiter, Jupiter in the sixth house of work in in Gemini. So that just expanded her empire on the airwaves. I mean, everybody knows Oprah either through her written word, her magazine, her television shows, her interviews, her um, philanthropy. I mean, she's, she's literally everywhere. So the Sagittarius would be her, her drive to, um, Higher education is very, very, very important to her. Um, so coming from poverty, she did achieve her her degree in way, way beyond. But that's her north node in, in uh, Capricorn. She was meant to achieve and put her put the stamp of her personality somehow in the world, which she has done. But I was talking about her beautiful air trine to from her three planets in Aquarius. Um, they're trying Jupiter in um, Gemini and they are trying to Neptune and Libra so you know, it's communication through the arts th communication through the arts and um, Mercury would make her a master of it Mercury is 
the ruler of Gemini. So she has Jupiter, you know, in, in, involved in this air trine, just, just giving her these enormous gifts of communication skills. So I don't, I think her first job might have been a newscaster or weather or something, but she really went in the right direction in that. Um, so her Neptune um, is trining her sun, her Venus. So everyone's attracted to her in one form or another. They're attracted to her communication style. It's very pleasant. That would be Venus. Um, Mercury and the sun would be trining Neptune, you know, um, yeah, her, would make her communication very, very pleasant and social extremely social. Those are all the social air signs, you know, Gemini, Libra, and and Aquarius. So at the same time that she's a, a people person, she's also um, on every cover of her magazine. That's the, that's the uh, Libra, Neptune and Libra. It loves fashion, beauty. Um, she's, you know, <coughs> Yeah, so, and she has Libra on the MC as well, the Midheaven. So that's her career sector. So naturally she would gravitate to a career in, in television, you know, television, magazine, fashion. Um, but being an Aquarian, a true Aquarian, you know, with both Mercury and Venus there, Aquarians are so open-minded to everything. I mean, literally everything. And... So she, she, you know, is a humanitarian on a very, very large scale. Um, very eloquent, you know, with her ideas, her creative ideas are just, just always coming. She never runs out of creative ideas to talk about. So being a talk show host is perfect fit for her. Perfect fit for her. And yes, and... So now she's running this empire, Oprah Empire, um, and started the O Channel. So yeah, she really used her Neptune in the 10th house um, in, in a very, very, very good way. And she has beautiful gifts. I think she knew that intuitively. She knew where her gifts were. Jupiter's in the sixth house of work, work and health work and health, and she talks about those a lot, and she's able to articulate and bring it to a very, very large audience because Jupiter just expands. I mean, being queen of the talk shows um, and magazines and just the world, you know, um, definitely expanded her, her eloquent, you know, skill and her book club and everything, you know. Um, but she was very much a humanitarian as well. Um, but she, and she has a beautiful trine between um, her Uranus and Cancer in the seventh house of relationships to Mars in Scorpio. Yeah, so relationships for her were sort of erratic, change, very changeable, um, sensitive, and yeah, maybe, maybe a little, you know, maybe a little non-committal, either on her side or, you know, because Mar because it is trining Mars in Scorpio, she's able to see the depth. I mean, she's able to see the depth in all relationships. Um, she sees to the very core. She's able to articulate that because she has Uranus, her ruler in Cancer, as well as her co-ruler of Aquarius in Scorpio. So she has talked about her, her sexual abuse, uh, violent rape, you know, at a very, very young age, and brought it through her Uranus, you know, to the airwaves, you know, just basically had, I think, I think I remember her saying she never really went to therapy, but she had on-air therapy, and she had her best friend, Gail, 
you know, and she had America, her audience, you know, which is ruled by cancer, America is. Um, so her relationships, you know, she had a, a stable relationship with, with Stedman, and they were engaged to be married, but um, she really didn't, you know, after, after, you know, they both made a lot of money, they really probably didn't see a, a reason to, to get married. So Uranus in seventh house would be changeable, erratic, um, different relationships, maybe freedom in relationships. So the relationship she, she chose and ended up having was at the same time stable, yet giving them both freedom. And um, so that, that would be Uranus in the seventh house in Cancer. So, she, you know, she was able to work that work that out. Um, Pluto, Pluto in the eighth house of Scorpio um, shows her her abuse. It's the ruler of Scorpio. Pluto transformations. She has it in Leo. Um, so the abuse was in her childhood. It's squaring Mars in Scorpio. So she very publicly talked about it in a Leo fashion, you know, on, on the airwaves. And, um, yeah, so it's very unfortunate that she had to endure that. However, she, she used her platform uh, to just help so many people, you know. You know, in her movies, The Color Purple, um, that would be Pluto and Leo as well. Um, her acting, her drama, and to share such a deep personal secret because it was a secret. It was very secretive. Twelfth house, moon in the twelfth house, you keep secrets, you know. It's like, don't tell anyone. So she was told, probably taught that as a child, told that as a child. But um, she had a vision of getting out of it because Sagittarius is very forward thinking. And so she was very wise to use her intuition and not stay stuck in the situation she was born into and just said, I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to, I'm going to have higher things for my life. And she did, she did, but she was, um, she, she had to keep it secret probably when she was a little girl, you know, and later on she was able to share it and help a lot of people through, through that sharing and, and herself as well. Um, it's just incredible and remarkable, um, which she did, which she did throughout her life on the, on the airwaves. But she had that special gift. She just really had the special gift of interviewing and getting into a person's, um, I think the Pluto in the Leo in the eighth house really helped her to delve deeply into someone's personality use her, her intuition and bring it through her gifts, through her, her grand trying, grand air trying to articulate it um, to the public. And everyone loved her because she had Venus. When you have Venus sitting on your sun, people like you. They're drawn to you. You're attractive uh, through your personality, through your communication. She has Mercury there as well. So everybody loved Oprah and <laughs> still does. Um, and that's, yeah, that's her sun, Mercury, and Venus. It's just, here I am. Um, yeah, so everyone really liked her. Workaholic, you know, we're, I, I, yeah, I just said that because I was looking at her north node in Capricorn. So she's always been an extremely hard worker. Um, and work is very, very important to her. And Jupiter just in... in um, Looking at her first house north node, um, so that's achievement, very, very important to her. So she's she's achieved her north node in this lifetime. She's won all kinds of awards for, for her philanthropy and Emmys and, you know, you name it. Um, Jupiter in her workhouse of communication, um, well, in Gemini, uh, you know, I've talked about her grand trying, that just took her to 
every media outlet possible. Yeah. And she's extremely open-minded, though. Very Aquarians are very, very open-minded. So for a while, she was getting kind of metaphysical, which was cool. She started her own channel. Oh, so she could, you know, talk about whatever she wanted to talk about um, and individuate, you know. But she was always first and extremely open-minded to everyone and everyone's friend. Everybody thought Oprah was their friend. And she was pretty much everyone's friend on air. Yeah, and, and that's her Venus Mercury conjunctor sign. And Aquarius is friendship. It's friendship, it's group. She's the leader of groups, all kinds of groups. Um, yeah, very interesting chart, very interesting chart. So those are the main dynamics. The first thing I, I look, you know, her, her stellium of three planets and of course, oh, in the second house of money, second house of money. So she was named by Forbes, you know, her assets are, I don't know what her assets are, but she was the first woman to make mega millions. I mean, she was in the top five, you know, that's a huge life achievement. Um, and she attracts money. She just, you know, she talks about the power of attraction a lot, but she has that anyway. Having, she attracts money and assets and material wealth. It just, <laughs> she's just really attracts that. Um, Venus is the power of attraction. So, yeah, and Mercury is talking about it, and the sun is herself, and it's all assets. But at the same time, she's generous. Aquarians are very generous anyway, and philanthropic, and she's the leader of group, a lot of groups. Um, everyone does think she's her, their friend. I mean, she tries to be a friend to everyone um, through the airwaves, but she's had to learn to put up some boundaries, uh, which is very hard for her, you know, having the moon in the 12th house. Very hard to put up boundaries emotionally. Um, so she's had to learn that. She's had to learn that. Um, so her Mars in the 11th house, that's her, her Aquarius house. It's in Scorpio. So that gives her more depth to interview. Interviewing people, she would cut to the core. She really would. And that's using her Pluto in the 8th house and her Mars in Scorpio. So she was very good at interviewing people. Yeah, very good at seeing the depth and cutting to the core questions, you know. She would just, yeah, be very, very skilled at that. And also that would be her Uranus, seventh house, trying Mars. They're in the same element, so that, that helped her as well. You know, just to see into people and, and you know, get the interview. Um, yeah, so very, very interesting chart. Everybody loves Oprah. She's everybody's friend. But uh, yeah, I was talking about her assets. <coughs> her assets, she was named, yeah, like by For Forbes is one of the richest women in the world, you know, the top five. So um, they come to her easily because of the Venus, Sun Venus in your second house. Um, yeah, I mean, that's, that's, that's a money magnet. She is definitely a money magnet and the law of attraction, you know, she promotes that. But it comes to her naturally. It just comes to her naturally because she was born with these gifts. She was born with these gifts to come from such a hard upbringing to, um, she was bound to make money through her gifts and, um, and her hard work though. Her hard work, she worked very, very hard and still is working very hard. So anyway, it's just a brief overview of her chart. She's all air. <laughs> this woman is all air, pretty much. She has Neptune and the MC in air, in Libra, <coughs> interviewing stars, celebrities, <coughs> excuse me, Sun, Mercury, and Venus in Aquarius, attraction, and Jupiter in the workhouse, work and health. She talks about work and health a lot, a lot. They, they you know, her diets and, um, yeah, let me just get some water. 
so she's all air. North node is the only earth she has, but it's imp very important earth. It's her body, herself, her personality, making her mark of achievement in the world. And so she has done that with her earth, mighty earth. <clears throat> and her water is Uranus, Mars, and, and uh, Saturn that show her early childhood abuse. They, yeah, but um, she survived it and um, just a beautiful, beautiful personality. Yes, everybody loves Oprah. So anyway, she's the Aquarian of, of the month. I hope you enjoyed this. If you would like your chart done, please contact me and I would be happy to do it. It's $45 at this time. And um, if you have any, have any suggestions, anybody's chart you'd like me to take a look at, let me know. Okay, thank you.